I was saying, when, when did that this transition of griefs gotten start? Uh, because uh, you know you seem to have rediscovered yourself quite completely, and that process is still underway. At what point did you tell yourself that I'm not just going to be a, a B2B diesel engine manufacturer, but I want to up my game and get into the e-mobility space in a big way? The journey began in 2016 uh, when we were discussing in the board and with the top management team how we could uh, repurpose the company and what we should do uh, you know, in order to achieve that. So I would say the journey began that year. Mm. What was the driving point? I mean, did you feel that you had to use your expertise to tap into the looming e-mobility revolution or was it a move towards becoming a more of a B2C company? What was the driving force behind this transition plan? Well, it was fairly clear to us uh, that uh, you know, a only fossil fuel based solution for powertrains uh, was not going to be, uh, you know, <clears throat> sustainable for the longer term. And in our business, uh, you know, it takes time to sort of achieve uh, the position that we had achieved with uh, the diesel powertrain, especially for in the low. Uh, light commercial vehicles, the three-wheeler and the small four-wheeler. Mm. And uh, we felt that the way uh, for the future was electric. And that's when we began discussing how to get into it. Uh, along the way, uh, once uh, we did take the plunge into uh, the electric uh, mobility area, uh, we decided that uh, we should go in uh, as a product rather than only as uh, the power trade, which had been our expertise all along. Mm. That's a significant shift because, you know, not many component manufacturers go on to become the brand themselves. Uh, but today what you're doing is this series of product launches that we're seeing from Greaves Cotton there seems to be a complete realignment of purpose that we are not going to be a component manufacturer for the end product which somebody else will make. Is it an easy transition to make to be from a component player to actually a finished product vehicle manufacturer? It is not easy then. Uh, uh, there are enormous challenges and I think one of the key challenges uh, is getting the people, the management of a very old legacy business, you know, Greaves Cotton has been around for over 160 years. To get them to think uh, and act differently is a challenge. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.